Yo guys, it's Flawless Day here. If you guys are here to boost your performance in terms of FPS, input delay, and ping, then you have came to the right spot. We have appreciated your guys' support to Flawless so much that we will be showing you guys part 1 to our exclusive tweaks for everyone to use. All we ask is for you guys to like and comment which tweak helped you the most, but without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so first up, we're going to be doing some general performance tweaks to help your performance, as in your window settings. We're just going to be covering a few settings inside your system um, that would just help you benefit in terms of input delay and frames. Um, first up, we're going to go down to the search bar in the bottom left, and we're going to search up adjust the appearance and performance of windows if you type this correctly and i mean every single letter then something like this should pop up all you want to do is click open and then something like this should pop up once this pops up what you want to do is click for adjust for best performance and then click on smooth edges of screen fonts and that's all you really need um, but I prefer to have show windows contents while dragging and show thumbnails instead of icons. Um, once you do that, just click apply and then okay. So that's one of the settings that you could use. Um, pretty beneficial, help you in frames and input delay. Um, next up, we're going to go through the notifications. What you want to do at the bottom right, you want to search up notifications and something like this should pop up. Just click open. Once it opens, this should be ticked. If it's not, just leave it. If it is, then untick it. Make sure it's off and untick all of these. Once you do that, you're done with that. And if you're on Windows 10, if you're not on Windows 10, that's fine. But if you are, search up background apps, click on open, and make sure that this is off. Okay, those are the general performance tweaks that you, that you could do for your system. There are more, but we, the uh, Ancel's performance batch will do the rest for you. Um, apart from that, let's get into the temp folders. Okay, so for the temp folders, all we're gonna do is clear out the temporary files. So what you wanna do is go back to the bottom left, search up run. Something like this should pop up, just click open. Once this pops up, what you want to do is type temp. Make sure it's spelled exactly like this. Click OK. So for you, there might be a lot more than this. But if there is, all you want to do is click on 1 and Control and A at the same time. That should highlight everything. And what you want to do is right click and delete. Once you do that, if anything pops up, then there's going to be a little checkbox. Just click that and then press skip. And keep doing it until it's done. Once you do that, you're going to close this. And then we're going to do the same thing again. But this time we're going to type percentage, temp, percentage. Click OK. And as you can see, there's a lot more for me. There may be a lot more for you too. What you want to do is do the same thing. Click on one, control A should highlight everything and then right click and delete this may take some time if it does don't worry it's just clearing the temporary files so don't worry nothing major is being deleted that you need for your system Once that's done, something like this may pop up. What you want to do is click the checkbox and then skip. And then you're good to close this out. Okay, we're going to do this one more time. Go back to the bottom left, search up run, open. But this time, you want to search up prefetch. It's going to be spelled like this. What you want to do is click OK. Um, for you, there may be a lot more. I'm pretty sure I just cleared mine uh, before this video. So what you want to do is just same thing, control, OA, and then delete. And then you can close out. 
Okay, so that's it for the uh, temp folders. Now we're gonna head on to the Ansel's performance patch. This is one of the best ways to improve your performance. So make sure you guys listen carefully once you uh, use this. Okay, so there's gonna be a link in the description for this file. Um, it should be a Mediafire link. What you wanna do is just download it. And once it's downloaded, uh, extract it and then something like this should pop up um you're gonna see a ansels performance bash that bat file what you want to do is click on it don't double click just click on it right click and then run as administrator make sure this is set as run as as administrator or this won't work what you want to do is just click yes and then something like this should pop up should be a command prompt it's gonna ask you, do you want to create a restore point? I would recommend you do it. So press one, but I already have one. So I'm just gonna press two. Okay, so once it loads up, it should look something like this. Um, I'm not the maker of this. I'm just using another tool. It was made by Ansel. So first up, what you wanna do is just next to the optimization, it should say a number. Just, I'm gonna walk you through it. What you want to do is press 1, press enter. Then it's going to ask you if you're on Windows 10 or 11. I'm on Windows 10 right now, so I'm going to press 1. But if you're on Windows 11, you're going to press 2 and then click enter. For me, I'm on Windows 10, so I'm going to do 1. And it's going to be uh, applying the tweaks for your Windows 10. Okay, so once it's done, it's gonna ask you what GPU do you have. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, press one. If you have an AMD, press two. And if you have an integrated graphics card, you press three. I have an NVIDIA, so I'm just gonna press one. Click answer. It's going to apply an NVIDIA inspector profile. Okay, so something should pop up saying profile successfully imported. Just click OK. Okay, so once it's done, um, this will pop up. All you want to do is click one and then enter. It should bring you back to the menu. Now we're going to do the keyboard optimizations. We just press two, click enter. And then it's gonna ask you, uh, do you have, do you use the touchpad on the laptop? If you have a laptop, do one. If you don't have a laptop, do two. I don't have a laptop. I'm using a PC currently, so I'm gonna do two. Okay, so once it's done, you just wanna press one again and then go back to the menu. Now we're gonna use the disable telemetry tricks. Just click three and then enter. Once that's done, it's going to say the same thing. Just press 1, go back to the menu. Then we're going to do some network tweaks. Click 4, click enter. And then it's going to say network optimizations can cause better or worse results depending on the user. Results may vary. Would you like to create a restore point before optimizing your network? I would recommend it, but I already did it. So I'm just going to click no. Okay, so once it's done, it's gonna pop up with the same menu. Just press one, go back to menu. And then for the last tweak, we're going to deep load windows. So what you wanna do is press five and then enter. Um, and then it'll pop up with another menu. Gonna have a bunch of tweaks. You just wanna go through them all. Press one. This one's going to remove PowerShell packages. Okay, so once it's done, uh, you can just follow the next one, which would be Disable Cortana, so two. And then the 
next one is gonna be disable unnecessary services. Just press three. And then the next one should be disable OneDrive, press four. And then the last one is going to be the PC cleaner. You just wanna press five and then enter. Okay, so it seems like the PC cleaner is bugged. If that does happen, you can just close it out. No problem. Um, once that's done, we're done with the Ancelos performance patch. Um, we will restart our PC. Just don't do it now. We're gonna do it after we're done with the rest of the tweaks. So next up is the MSI Afterburner. Okay, so next up will be the MSI Afterburner. Um, what you guys want to do is there's going to be a link in the description to the MSI Afterburner website. All you want to do is download it. So once you downloaded it, uh, there should be a file that should say MSI Afterburner. If you cannot see it, you're just going to go back to the bottom left, type here to search, and then search up MSI Afterburner. Once you see it, just make sure you run it as administrator. So I'm not going to maximize your PC's limit because I don't know what GPU you have. Everything differs, but I will give you a a low overclock just to be safe. Um, but what you guys do want to do, what everyone needs to do is make sure the power limit here is set to the max. So push it all the way to the right. And then what you want to do is there's going to be a core clock that has megahertz next to it. Um, you want to make sure this is it's gonna be plus well, you don't you don't need to type the plus you can just type the number so what you're gonna do is type 120 that's a safe overclock it's just gonna boost your performance a little bit or it could help you a lot you never know and then for memory clock you can put 500 once you do that what you want to do is press apply right here and then make sure you check this and once you know it's checked it should appear blue if I uncheck it, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be gray. Once you check it, it should be blue. And that's just gonna save it so that every time you restart, you don't have to do it again. So once you do that, you're good to close. And then you're done with the overclock. Next up, we are going to do the task manager. So you can do whatever you want with the MSI Afterburner. We're done with that. Next up, we're gonna do the task manager. So what you wanna do at the bottom of your taskbar, you wanna right click into the empty space and it should say task manager. Click on that, full screen in, and then right here, you're going to see at the very top, or if you're on Windows 11, it's going to be at the left side, go to startup, and then if you're, if you're on Windows 11, it should look something similar to this, but what you want to do is every single application you see, you want to right click and make sure it is disabled. You see how it says disabled here? That's when you know it's disabled, but if it says enabled, you want to right click on it and disable it. These are just um, startup uh, applications that start up when you turn on your PC. Um, this will slow down your performance by a lot. Uh, I recommend uh, disabling everything and then opening it by yourself. But since I use um, some of these applications a lot, I'm going to leave my Realtek HD Audio Manager on. Apart from that, you can disable everything else. Once you're done with that, you can close it out and then we're done with the task manager. What we are going to do next is the Epic Games. Um, so what you want to do, go to the bottom left, search up Epic Games Launcher. Should come up, just press open. Then what you want to do is go to library. And then you want to locate Fortnite. You want to click on the three dots next to it. Go to manage and if you guys are having major issues you can verify your files Th this will basically um fix all the corrupt files you have in the game but if you guys don't want to do that you can go back click the three dots go to options and then this is where it will show all the downloaded files inside fortnite um make sure that high resolution textures is unticked make sure you can have you can keep direct 12 shaders and make sure pre-downloaded streamed assets is on tick too. Once you do that, click apply. It may take a second to uh, finish. And then you're good to close this out. Next up, we're going to do the Fortnite in-game settings. 
So all you guys want to do is just load up Fortnite. And then I'll see you guys in the lobby. Okay guys, so once you loaded up Fortnite, what you want to do is go into the settings. And I'm going to walk you through every single setting that can boost your FPS and input delay. So what you want to do is make sure you are on full screen. Make sure you're playing on native, but you can go lower. The, the lower the better, but at the same time, I still prefer native because of the resolution. Um, turn off VSync. If you have a lot of stutters, cap it to over your refresh hertz. Um, if you don't have a lot of stutters, you can just put it to unlimited. Um, make sure you're playing on performance mode. Your brightness, all of this doesn't matter. Make sure your 3D resolution is at 100%. Make sure this is off. Make sure view distance is near. Texture is low, mesh is low. And report performance stats is disabled. Now into the audio. Uh, these don't matter. Sound quality does. I still prefer you guys have high quality, but it will reduce your performance. 3D headphones will also reduce your performance. Next, go into the subtitles. Put this on off. Extra small, white, none, and clear. And then I'm going to go to visualize sound effects. You guys can turn it off, but I still recommend keeping it on for a competitive advantage. And the rest doesn't matter. Now onto the game settings. Make sure your matchmaking region is at auto or the exact region, which for me would be Europe. Either doesn't matter. Uh, toggle sprint, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Make sure this is off. Contextual tips, make sure that's off. Make sure Nvidia highlights is off. Peripheral lighting is off. Make sure replays are all off and make sure this idle energy saving and inactive window energy saving is also off. Make sure both of them are off. And that's pretty much it for the Fortnite settings. Um, Before I end the video, I need you guys to know that uh, this is very important. So what you, what you guys want to do is um, you restart your PC after doing all of these tweaks. Do not shut it down. Make sure you guys restart. Because if you shut it down, the tweaks won't apply. If you restart, the tweaks will apply. And you guys will see a massive difference when you load up your game. Um, anyways, that's all for today. I hope this helped. Um, if you like and comment this worked, we will make a part two. There's a lot more tweaks I can go through, but that's all I can go through today. Um, anyways, guys, it's flawless day. I'll see you in the next one.